Hi guys, I'm Claire from Gadgetgal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the Instax Mini 40 and comparing it to the latest favourite in the Instax family, the Instax Mini 11. Essentially, it seems these two are identical, except for their looks and feel. But let me take you through what is and isn't the same. The Mini 11 comes in a variety of bright pastel hues and is made of lightweight plastic. The Instax logo is debossed onto the film door and the camera features a rigid ergonomic shape that makes it simple to grip. It comes with the hand strap and a jewel-like shutter button cover. The Mini 40, on the other hand, has the appearance and feel of a vintage Fujifilm camera. The new model sports a faux leather shell inspired by Fujifilm's vintage models, has harsher edges and you can have it in any color you like as long as it's black. Silver accents run down the sides and front of the camera, and an embossed logo plate sits above the lens. It does come with a strap, but not a shutter button cover, and it's slightly smaller and a bit heavier than the Mini 11. Both cameras are quite simple to use, with film cartridges being inserted from the back. The cameras are switched on by pressing the buttons adjacent to the lens, and are both shut off by inserting the lens back into the camera. Selfie mode is available on both models and should be used when capturing a subject that is close to the lens, I would say about 30 to 50 centimeters in distance. Simply lift the front of the lens or pull it out a little bit until the selfie on label appears, then you'll be in selfie mode. Both cameras have a little mirror on the front that assists you to frame your shots when you're trying to take a selfie. When comparing the specifications, it's clear that they're nearly identical. The lenses, viewfinders, shutters and flashes are all the same on both cameras. They both utilize the same film and take about 90 seconds to develop the images. They both run on the same batteries and both last about the same time. So, as a result, you can anticipate that the Mini 40 is going to deliver the same performance as the Mini 11. This isn't a bad thing because we already love the Mini 11. It's a fantastic instant camera. The auto flash, in my opinion, is also a really cool function. It makes it easy to capture shots in different lighting and you don't have to fidget and fiddle to try and find the right setting for your lighting. retails for around 1,399 Rand here in South Africa and the Mini 11 for around 1,289 Rand so there is a bit of a price difference at the moment if that's what's going to sway your opinion. Essentially the Mini 40 has the same characteristics as the Mini 11 but it's just built in a vintage style. If you're trying to choose between the two cameras the look and feel of each model is the most important factor to consider. If you already own a Mini 11 and want something a bit more retro looking, then this might be the camera for you. But I kind of think, well, what's the point? If you do want something new and you do want something retro, then the 40 is definitely something to look at. Don't forget to check out my box below and have a look at gadgetgirl.com for more tech and lifestyle content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Camera. Oh should be used when... Oh.